Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn some facts about squared numbers. So, the first one. A number ending with odd number of zeros is never a perfect square. So, when I'm saying a number ending with odd number of zeros. So, let us take an example. 3, 1, 2, 3. So, this can this be a perfect square? No. 5. 1. Is this a perfect square? No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Is this a perfect square? No. Now why so? So, let us take some normal numbers. So taking 20. Now the square of 20, it is 20 multiplied by 20. Now in any case, if we are multiplying, so these two zeros will come together to give two zeros. And this 2 multiplied by 2 will give us 4. Similarly, if suppose I'm having 4, 100 the square of 400 so 400 square will give us 400 into 400 now these two zeros with both the fours will give us one two three four four zeros and 16 over here so in any case a number ending with odd number of zeros will never be a perfect square let's move to another fact the number ending with 2, 3, 7, 8 are not perfect square. Now this never means that all the numbers ending with 1, 4, 5, 6 or 9 are perfect squares. But the number ending with these are never a perfect square. Now let us understand why this is so. So if we have any number, so if we need to take like suppose if it is 31 and 31 so for this number the unit place always has to be 1 multiplied by 1 which is 1 so similarly let us understand this with the different examples whatever our number is if we are taking square of any particular number the unit place is always the product of unit place so if it is a two digit number a1 okay irrespective of what the other digit is the digit at unit place if it is 1 then the digit at the square will always give us 1 if it is a2 then the digit at this of the square is 4 if it is a3 the digit at square place will give us 9 if it is a4, the digit at square place will give us 6. Because the square of 4 is 16, we are taking the 6 over here and this 1 will get carried forward and it will be the part of the remaining number. Now again taking, if the number is a5, so the square will have 5 at the unit's place. Again, because the square of 5 is 25, we will write the 5 over here and 2 will get carried to the rest of number. Now, if it is a6, so the digit at unit place would be 6. If it is a7, so the digit at unit's place will be 9. If it is a8, the digit at unit's place will be Four. And if it is a 9, the digit at unit's place will give us 1. And again, if the number has a 0, the digit at unit's place will be 0. So now if we see, we will observe that 1, 4, 5, 6 and 9. These are the digits which we see in a perfect square at the unit's place. And of course, 0. But in any case, 
2, 3, 7, 8. If these are the digit at unit space, the number is not a perfect square. So yes, these are the two facts for today. Thank you.